Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be doing a shopper drop. If you don't know what it is, basically I go through the Trend Mood Instagram page and I tell you about new makeup releases and my opinions on them and if I'm going to buy them. So it's been such a long time since I've done a video like this because honestly, there was this little lull of a time where nothing new and exciting was being released. So now that all of the spring releases are starting to come out, now Trend Mood is interesting. So I'm finally going to do a video so I need to do these more often so please get on my butt about doing these more often so of course like I said I'm getting all of the photos from the trend mood Instagram page if you do not follow them you need to they have all of the latest information on the newest releases and I'm just gonna start from the newest to the older so first things first that looks kind of interesting we have the violet Voss sugar crystals eyeshadow palette it's going to be $42 and will be available February 28th online and Sephora March 12th online. So basically on uh, the top row you have matte shades of a hot pink, a orange, a yellow, blue, light blue, purple, and then you have like shimmer shades of them I guess. Uh, it looks like it's a palette with different finishes. Um, It looks like it would be a waste of money for me so personally I'm not going to pick this up. But you know what? Kudos to you, Violet Voss, for making these colorful palettes that a lot of brands are scared to make because they don't think they will sell as well. I think this palette is really cool. I think it's a great concept. Kudos to Violet Voss for actually making a colorful palette. I personally just don't really like the shades of the shimmers. They look very close in color together and it just doesn't catch my eye that much. Moving on, we have the It Cosmetics Confidence in a Foundation. It comes with 48 shades. It's going to be $32 each foundation which honestly sounds like a pretty good price for a high-end foundation so right now it's available on it cosmetics we don't know about other retailers I love my it cosmetics CC cream I'm actually very interested in this I'm thinking about ordering it but I also really have no clue what my shade would be and I hate ordering shades online so I'm gonna sleep on it but I might pick this up and maybe do a review on it because I love a cosmetic foundation and this is different than what they've usually come out with. We have the ABH Riviera palette. So this is for their summer collection, it looks like. And it is going to be available March 4th on ABH's website. So this one is also really fun. It's a colorful palette. Now, not all of the shades in here are colorful. They did take a little bit of a safe route. Which, honestly, the ratio between colorful and neutral shadows isn't too bad. Usually, when brands try to say they have a colored palette, it's like 80 percent neutrals this isn't that and they have good shades for the neutrals I think in my opinion to me it's not the most pleasing palette but I've been waiting for ABH to come out with a more colorful palette because all of their releases lately have been very neutral and boring and I think this is going to be a great palette for summer and I'm just I'm definitely picking it up because I pick up all of the ABH palettes it's not the most beautiful palette I've ever seen but I'm into it. Okay, so next we have the Huda Beauty Rose Collections for her bullet lipsticks. So these will be available March 14th online at Huda Beauty and Sephora. Their marketing on this is beautiful. They did a good job. I'm very attracted to this picture right here. It makes me want to purchase them. I've also been looking into incorporating more pink lipsticks into my collection. I think I'm going to pass. This is the kind of thing where I'll maybe pick up one or two in store after I swatch them and I'm in the store and I want to spend money, but I'm definitely not going out of my way to order these online by any means, and especially not all of these because I'm sure some of them are super close in color. So I might pick one up eventually down the road, but as of now, I'm in no hurry to pick those up. Okay. So this one was interesting. There is a new, it looks like Tarte eyeshadow palette. Um, it will be available at Sephora. Doesn't seem like they know too much about this palette. I like the look that the girl has in the picture. I'm actually, I feel inspired by that. I want to create a look kind of like that. Um, and I like the palette too, but I'm kind of over Tarte. Something tells me it's not going to be worth the money, so I'm going to pass on it, but I'm eyeing it. For sure. Okay, so we have the Tom Ford Summer Collection. So it looks like here we have lip color shears. Not getting any of those. That'll be a waste of money. Aqua Metal Shadows. I am interested in those. I might pick one up. We have lip blush, lip balms, uh, two bronzers, sheer 
cheek duo a cushion foundation compact and a nail coat um okay in reality i'm not picking anything up i'm interested in the eye things because i love liquid eyeshadows they're like my favorite thing in the world everything else i have to say pass just because you guys know i love high-end luxury makeup but i haven't dove into tom ford yet because that one is like really 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 expensive oh we have more things to add to the tutti fruity line uh, you have this watermelon palette which to be quite honest looks terrible um let's see hangover spray haven't even tried that so i'm not even that interested in it um basically everything in this collection no the stuff that i did try from the first 2d fruity collection i didn't like so why are they adding more and that palette just looks terrible hmm. anything else interesting so march 1st viziart is coming out with two new eyeshadow palettes you guys know i am obsessed with viziart love their shadows so we have the soleil and the apricotine 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 i sound like an idiot right now i promise you i'm not <laughs> anyways this will be available march 1st on beautylish and i might already have them stay tuned um, oh my gosh i posted about this on my instagram so ColourPop. It's coming out with a collection with, I think it's Zoella. Yeah, Zoella. I don't know. I never really watched her on YouTube, but she started off as kind of like a YouTuber. She's grown quite large. Ugh, the collection looks so cute. Looking at the sneak peek of the palette, it looks a little boring, but the packaging, I'm so into it. It's like brunch date super cute so i definitely need to see more sneak peeks of this collection before i go into it but i might pick up something because the packaging is so cute but i need to see more oh okay so we have the makeup forever let's gold palette it's going to be 45 dollars. that doesn't sound right but i hope it is 45 dollars. i believe it's coming out march 8th i'm not too sure but um yes i'm going to be purchasing this it looks gorgeous and i love the last palette that they made that was similar to this so i'm so pumped to pick this up you guys have no idea um, um, um. so charlotte tilbury is coming out with a new eyeshadow palette called the icon palette and then some liquid lipsticks it will be available february 28th online yes i am picking up the eyeshadow palette i want to see the lip products first in store before i commit to buying any of the lip products but I am going to pick up the Icon palette for the sake of my channel. I think it's really pretty. I know I have some Charlotte Tilbury lovers on my channel, so I do want to check it out for you guys. Okay, then we have the Dior Amber palette. It's from the Backstage collection, and you guys know I was... It, well, you might not know, but I was obsessed with the Backstage collection, but I didn't actually pick up any of the eyeshadow palettes, so there is no release date on this, but this is the Dior Amber pretty amber eyeshadow palette and let me release some information to you guys i didn't even tell trend mood about this it's online on the dior website i ordered it a few days ago and it's supposed to come into the mail today so i knew it before trend mood just saying as of now they haven't posted anything about it <laughs> okay so as we go down trying to look for any other significant releases so we have the Too faced coco contour palette coming in the spring i won't be picking that up because i don't need a contour palette but if i did need a contour palette i think i would pick that up because it smells like chocolate and 10 out of 10 recommend they are chocolate smelling products okay and stupid too faced again gosh chill out dude but they have a whole collection called natural lust the only thing i'm eyeing from the collection is the eyeshadow palette i wanted to have it but i probably probably don't take my word for it i'm going to pass but i wanted to have it so it basically is the same as the natural love palette but the new updated version this i actually was about to declutter out of my collection i don't need it as soon as i was about to declutter that they released the information on that and I don't know yet if I'm going to pick it up. I think it's really pretty and I almost want to compare the old one to the new one. So I'm holding on to that old one just in case. Um, I'm on the fence about it. 
So once time gets closer to its release date, I will decide then. It definitely, it looks a lot more bright and peachy and apricotty. And I'm digging the vibes. I am. Okay, so at this point, everything is looking pretty boring and repetitive. So I'm just going to stop there. Those are the releases that kind of caught my eye that I want to talk about with you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video of Shopper Drop. Side note, this whole Shopper Drop video, I didn't even say I was going to shop something or drop something once. So I'm very disappointed in myself. <laughs> like what? I need you guys to remind me to do these more often if you like them. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you're interested in picking up and what you're not interested at all in picking up. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. Have a great day.